Two weeks ago, I did a video about the month ahead for Man United before the Premier League season starts. And now there's a month left before the transfer window closes. And it is genuinely staggering how much United still need to do this summer for it to be considered a successful summer. So make sure you watch this video to the end. I'm going to run through everything because honestly, it blows my mind how much United have left to do with only four weeks left. I'm going to run through all of it in this video. Before I start, make sure you join our Fantasy Premier League. Over 500 of us are in there now already. A signed Cantona shirt is the first prize. Come on, great prize. So there's link in the description. It's free to join. As is our Discord server. Over a thousand of us on there in the in the first like three or four days. It's great. Come over there and talk about this, I suppose. And it's a huge, huge talking point. So let's run through it all together. Now, the major problem for United is that, yeah, we need to make signings. But before we do that, we need to sell players. We need to trim this squad. Look, I'm going to run through it by position. Starting with goalkeepers. David De Gea, he's staying. Lee Grant, why does he exist? Sell him, but I suppose you can't because Sergio Romero needs to be sold. Joe Pereira's gone out on loan. And Dean Henderson's staying, so you need Lee Grant to be your third goalkeeper. But still, United need to sell Romero. Look at our defenders list. My God, Lindelof's staying and so is Bay, but Jones has to be sold. Maguire's staying, Smalling has to be sold, Rojo has to be sold. Arguably, Delot should be moved on if Fosu Mensa is ahead of him in the pecking order. Shaw and Fosu Mensa are staying, wan Brandon Williams and Twan Zebe are all staying. So many defenders have to be moved on, go on to midfield. Pogba's staying. So Mata and Lingard, I think you could question as well, as well as Pereira, all three of their futures at the club. I think Pereira should be sold this summer and Lingard too. Fred and Bruno and Dan James and Matic, they're all staying. Van der Beek is staying. Garner should be sold. Not sold, sorry. Garner should go out and loan him at Tomine. He's staying. The only position where we've really got most of our business done is up front. Martial, Rashford, Greenwood and Igalo with Tahith Chong out on loan to Verdun Bremen. Sanchez has been sold, but of course we need Sancho there. And in my opinion, we desperately need to sell players before we're going to be signing players. And I think that's a major reason why United really haven't been that active in the market, because we just haven't sold enough. Chris Smalling is close to Roma, but we haven't really heard much about Jones. Or Pereira. Romero to Aston Villa, that's a bit of a... I mean, we shouldn't struggle to sell Romero anyway. But United haven't sold enough. I personally think that seven players need to be moved on in the next four weeks. That's not going to happen, is it? But in terms of outgoings, there's so much to do. But in terms of incomings, there's still so much that we need to do. And in terms of the players we're linked with the most, Regulon. Fabrizio Romano is saying he's been offered to United and the board are considering him as an option, but Sevilla want him back on loan too. You've got Sid Lowe saying that he will almost certainly be on the move from Real Madrid this summer. He's actively looking at the Premier League and is a reasonably priced player because he is. Now, Regulon got an assist last night playing against Ukraine, but he went off injured. Apparently that injury is not too bad, so we'll see what goes on there. But Regulon is available. He's keen on a move to the Premier League. He's young enough that he can improve at United. The bar back clause is a bit of an issue, but he would improve our squad and arguably our starting eleven for a reasonable price. Very similar to the Donny van der Beek deal. So I don't know what United are doing. If we're, if we're slightly interested in him, just go for him. Just sign him. Get it done because United have got so much to do in so little time. We cannot waste any more. The 2021 season countdown is brought to you by Odds Checker, your one-stop betting hub. And as always, I want to say a big shout out to Odds Checker for sponsoring the 2021 season countdown here on United People's TV. It is your one-stop betting hub for everything in one place. You should just look at odds on there or check odds, funnily enough. But now you can bet directly on there. There's a link in the description. It's free to download. Make sure you go over there and maybe have a little look at the markets for United signing players because we, we desperately, desperately need to be active in these last Four weeks of the transfer window before it closes. So much needs to happen. And of course, Jaden Sancho is the one that we all want to happen. And you already know the latest because I've covered it all this week. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, I think he's starting to exert some pressure on the board, on the Glazers, on Woodward. For not doing their job. For not signing him the players that he needs. Like Chelsea are doing for Frank Lampard. 
to improve this squad this season and improve on that third place finish. But there's been no real updates, major updates on Sancho in so long. Christian Falk, head of Sport at Build, he hasn't really tweeted about Sancho directly since like August the 3rd or the 4th. Fabrizio has always remained the same. That wages and agent fees are not a problem. That it's all about the fee. And maybe it's all gone behind the scenes. Maybe it's all gone behind closed doors and United and Dortmund are negotiating currently for Sancho. But that's the optimist in me thinking that. The realist thinks that nothing is going on and that we're no closer to signing the one player who is the top of Solskjaer's list and has been all summer long and with four weeks to go everything still really needs to be done in terms of the negotiations between Dortmund and between United for the price of the player that's always been the sticking point and then you've got Deo Upamecano now with Upamecano it's all gone quiet really and I'll be honest I don't really feel that the links with Upamecano were ever as certain as Sancho or, or Regulon or even Thiago for that matter Upamecano would have been a dream signing for United fans. A top quality centre-back to come in and partner Harry Maguire and give United a far more balanced partnership at the heart of defence. Now, he signed that new contract with Leipzig in July. That doesn't really change anything because they're going to lose him for, what, that 42 million release clause next year, which comes, which is triggered next season. So if United went in with 50 million this summer, it would have asked a question, but it doesn't look like we have. It doesn't look like we're going to. So Upamecano, there's been nothing really. And why is that? We, we need a centre-back. A centre-back is a desperately important signing for United this summer. We signed Van der Beek, but that was an opportunist signing to bring in a central midfielder in a position we're already spoilt with quality to bring in some real depth. A great signing, but not one of the priorities. And I think that's why we haven't really gone after Thiago. Thiago is more likely to be joining Liverpool than, than United. And for me, actually signing Donny van der Beek is a smarter business move than signing Thiago from Bayern. Top class, world class player Thiago is. Van der Beek, it's a younger signing. It seems to suit Solskjaer more. Wouldn't come on the huge wages that Thiago has. It fits in with this cultural rebuild that Solskjaer is doing far more than Thiago would. Now, signing Thiago would have been brilliant. And it still probably would be brilliant. But he's not the priority for United anymore, so I'm not going to be too fussed really what goes on with him because we've signed Van der Beek. But elsewhere, what the fuck are we doing? Honestly, there's four weeks left to go in this summer transfer window. And if I'm being brutally honest, I think United need to conclude transfers for seven players in the squad. I think Romero, I think Smalling, I think Jones, I think Rojo, I think Pereira, I think Lingard. I'm thinking James Garner out on loan. That's seven. You could probably include Matter in that, but that's in terms of replacing them in the squad. Is that really going to happen in four weeks? On top of Sancho, on top of Regulon, on top of another centre-back? That's 10 transfer deals. Three in, seven out. That have to happen in four weeks. And this is a club that signed Van der Beek. That's it. That's all we've got. United have left so much to do in four weeks for this to be considered a very successful summer. And I just don't think that's possible. Even the eternal optimist in me realises that this squad will not be in as good a shape as it could have been this season coming up had United done their business better. Now, maybe we're struggling to sell players. I don't think we'll struggle to sell Chris Smalling. I think that one will go through. I don't think we'll struggle to sell Romero. I think that one will go through. But I don't think anybody wants Jones or anybody wants Rojo or anybody... or. Maybe we're not willing to sell Lingard just yet until we get the replacement in. And maybe the same goes for Pereira, although I think we can shift Pereira on now that we've got Donny van der Beek in. But the same problems have existed this summer. We've signed smarter over the last couple of windows in terms of the players we've signed. But in terms of how we've acted, yes, van der Beek was brilliant. It was done in 48 hours, but that's a, a purple patch in what has been six, seven weeks of dithering, long negotiations led by Woodward and Judge. Two men who have again shown their incompetence. And I hope I've got egg on my face in four weeks because United have a blitz at the end of the transfer window. We sign Sancho, we sign Regulon. Hell, we even sign a centre-back and we shift Smalling, Rojo and Romero on. I'd love to have egg on my face, but I don't think I will. United has taught me that I'm probably not wrong. And it's just staggering that, that we've allowed it to happen again. It's happening again. And it's frustrating. It's really frustrating as United fans to see what Chelsea are doing 
we, you can do it. Don't tell me it's, it's an impossible in the coronavirus market. You, you can do it if you're willing to spend the money. We're not willing to spend the money maybe until we're selling the players and we're not getting the offers in for the players. It's a, it's a vicious circle of stagnation at United in the transfer market. The Donny van der Beek deal was its own little bubble. It was an opportunity that we felt we couldn't miss out on rather than it being a priority signing like Sancho or a centre-back. But four weeks to go, for me, seven players either have to be sold or loaned and three players have to be signed for this to be considered a complete summer. I don't think that's possible. What do you think will happen between now and when the transfer window closes at the start of October? How optimistic are you feeling that this squad will be in the best shape? It won't be in the best shape possible for the start of the season because I think we're still going to be completing transfers after the season starts. That's our own fault. But let me know what you're thinking about this in the comments below. And before I finish, I want to do one more shout out to Odds Checker for sponsoring the season countdown. It's, it's going to be a bit painful for United, I suppose, with what's coming up in the transfer window. But make sure you head over there, your one-stop betting hub for all your latest United transfer odds. There is a link in the description. It is free to download and make sure you do. It helps United People's TV as well. But let me know what you think about everything that's going on or not going on with United's transfers, with only four weeks to go.